Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and do a video today that was requested. How to apply foundation. Get a foundation you like or apply it on your face. You can put it with your hands or you can actually put it on with one of these brushes right here. You can actually just put the product on there and then just buff it into your skin. Or you can actually use another tool. You can actually use this, which is a beauty sponge. Um, those two tools, or you can actually use the beauty wedges. You have to pick a foundation that is close to your skin tone. So for me, it's this is my favorite foundation. This is L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And, um, I normally get this in the W3 and I also pick up the W2 which is lighter as you can see I don't know if you can see that on the camera I think you can unfortunately this is a little too dark and this is way too light and so if I mix them together I get the perfect shade so the darkest one I use to outline my face so anywhere where I would want to contour is where I would apply this and wherever I want to highlight I'll do this so I'll highlight right here, right here, right here. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, um, go check those out. I can get away with just using this one, um, but I can't get away with using this one. This would be too light for me. But anyway, so I have that option for you. That's my favorite one. And then I actually picked up this one recently, and this is a L'Oreal Infallible. Now this is for like, for like really oily skin, because this is a matte foundation. I have combination skin now, so try it's just regular, and then right here it's like it gets really oily, like on my T zone. So normally I would want to put this on my T zone, and it'll keep me matte almost all day long. I tried this one all over my face, and I felt like this was really dry, and it felt kind of like a mask, like when you would smile or when you would try to move your face, it kind of felt like hard, and so I didn't like that. So what, is, what I did, because I wanted to return this, I decided to combine them. So I'll put this all over my face, and then I'll go ahead and put this on my T-zone, and it works out perfect. So, But if you're really oily, you might want to go for this foundation, because this, this will keep you matte. Okay, so the other thing you might want to um, use when you want to do your foundation, um, your whole foundation routine or whatever, is get a good concealer. I like this L'Oreal True Match concealer okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and start so we're gonna go ahead and place the W3 where we want it which is the warmer shade foundation looks like I didn't take this beauty sponge that's how I like to apply it and if not with a wedge you can do it however you want you can actually use um, the brush if you want so I'm just gonna place this right there and all around my face because this is where I want to make my face look slimmer. Now we're going to go ahead and take the W2 which is the lighter shade that right here so you can see the difference, it's way lighter. Put that right there. And just bring it down your nose. Right here, you can see that's really, really bright. And then like right here. You don't have to do it this way, you could just, you know, just put one foundation and just, you know, blend everything together. But this is how I like to do it. So some of this, uh, infallible one because this one keeps you matte and so I like that I just got a little bit this one's like really really thick you can tell so we're just gonna go ahead and blend everything now so you can see that's really really bright blend 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 As you can see, this actually matches my neck, but we're still going to blend a little bit. Okay. 
Okay guys, so my foundation is done. Um, I just need to put on a little bit of concealer only because I broke out. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the, and I'm actually already running out of this. So I actually broke out, I'm not sure why, probably hormonal. I broke out here and here. So I have two small blemishes there that I wanna hide. So we're just gonna go ahead and take it on our finger and just apply it where we want it. I like this formula because it's kind of a thick, kind of a drier consistency. So it's not going to slide um, like other ones would. And I'm going to use another finger. And I'm just going to add just a little bit right here because I have a little bit of discoloration there from a previous bowl that I had. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and take our blender or sponge and just tap on it a little bit make sure it blends and that's it so we're done with our foundation that's how simple it is to do your foundations